These university students are used to more comfortable living conditions. But when protests against President Pierre Kurunziza began more than a month ago, government leaders shut down the university. Some students took part in the protest against the president's bid for a third term. Donashia Nimobona says he has nowhere to go. He is afraid of pro-government militia who patrol the countryside. Uh, we can't go home because when we go home, there is an order from the Minister of Interior who said that we say that they must, we must be followed wherever we go. So when we go home, we must be, we must be caught and be jailed. The police think that's a publicity stunt by the opposition, saying these students have nothing to worry about. Uh, if everybody is attacked by uh, a, a member of, from that uh, ruling party, he has to go at the, national, the, the police stations, uh, report the case, uh, police is there to protect everybody. But on the ground, we don't see these cases we are talking about. The location is strategic even if sleeping out here is a bit rough. The students chose an area close to the United States Embassy. They say they feel safe here, hoping that no one targets them because the diplomatic community is nearby. The US government has urged African leaders to tell Karinziza not to run for a third term. Opposition members are still protesting, but there's fewer of them. The controversial elections which were due this month have been postponed possibly until next month. Every decision will need to be confirmed by the decision of the President of the Republic because it is a new calendar. Until the crisis in Burundi is resolved, future doctors, teachers, lawyers and maybe even politicians wait for the university to open or until it's safe to go home. Harumatasa Al Jazeera, Bujumbura.